the Germany, world look never like existed. Germany never oh, existed. Oh boy. So well, G I mean, I'll tell you, there'd probably be two less world wars, even if technically they were both Austria's fault. Geographically, geographically if there was a German Ocean, then Switzerland, Austria, is that and Czechia saying? would be enjoying coastlines, while Finally, Denmark yes. would become an island. Moreover, Europe. They've, they've got a lot of islands. They might as well. Now to connect the Baltic to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, historically, hmm, we all. I don't know. Would they? That's a huge canal, and they'd be going through the Alps. Are we assuming the Alps aren't going to be there? To connect the Baltic to the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, I don't, now historically, I don't know. I we think, all know a lot would that change. Makes... No Germany means there would be no World War II. However, World War One would still happen, but with its biggest contender now missing, that's, it would be on a much that's smaller a scale. Fun Lastly, thought say experiment. goodbye to BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes, oh, well, yeah. and so many more German brands. I mean, Germany. Germany has arguably the third strongest economy in the world, so there would be a lot of things that disappear. Quite possibly. We would have never came up with the concept of freeways since the Autobahn really showed the world how to do it. The skinny mustache man had something to do with that. Which, funny side note, technically he would have still existed because he's Austrian. This is such an interesting concept because it's making me think about all sorts of things. World War One probably would have still seen Austria go after Serbia, pulling in the Russians. But I wonder in a World War One without Germany, does France and England even like think it's worth it? Maybe they just stay out of the whole thing. Meanwhile, Austrian painter casually moving to France after failing art school. No! Not. French Reich. As always, very nice, Happy Earth. There is nothing we can do. This time, if those memes focused on Germany. Obviously, this meme focuses on Napoleonic France and Napoleon. So we're first gonna see the rise of the Germans uh, well, before there was nothing they could do, and then the collapse. So them losing their colony in New Guinea, also their colonies in Africa. This is during, this is after World War One. so all that stuff was gonna get divided up to the other European powers because they had to pay for the war the, the first war. So this is them losing everything. Obviously the Polish corridor, them getting really broken up, France taking a little piece, uh, Denmark taking some pieces, and uh, well, that's World War II Germany. I like how we started this video with current modern day German borders. A lot of people forget this is what the German Empire looked like at their peak before World War II. They obviously didn't have as many overseas colonies as other European nations, but it's definitely nothing to just write off. They did end up losing all this though. Even ports in China. Very nice Red Star. There's nothing we can do this time Russia. So this is the expansion of Russia and as Russia gets really big, I'm pretty sure we're about to see the Russians or the Soviets collapse back into Russia. So this is when they were, well, the Russian Empire, then the Russian Empire turns into the Soviet Union. Oh, is that how we're going to do this? Oh, that's a little bit of a twist. This is the Russian Empire losing Alaska to the USA, but it wasn't really a depressing thing. That was a mutual decision. They sold that to us. I'm sure they didn't like to, they wouldn't, they would have wanted got it back. There was a lot of oil reserves there. Okay, so they're showing the, like, kind of Russian, uh, oh, there's more. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're showing a very different Russia. They losing Finland. Oh, this is an interesting video. Them losing the Baltics, they would eventually get that back, of course. And then them turning into the Soviet Union. Oh, that was a good twist. So often, like, the fall of Russia always just shows dissolving Soviet Union. But that was good. It's funny because they ended up getting a lot of this stuff back as the Soviet Union and then losing it again in the 1990s. Technically, according to this, the Soviet Union had more territory than the Russian Empire. But it was really, really close. And actually, you could maybe argue that's not the case. It could have been bigger. Very nice Taiwanese country bowl. Here's going to be a painful one as well. We have China. Or, well, there's current modern day China. But here's what they were were as the Qing Dynasty, a very, very big country, and they had a very, very big collapse. So let's see what the nothing we can do is. They're going to lose that to Russia, uh, the outer edges of Manchuria. They lose a lot of Central Asia, also to the Russians. I guess the flag is literally there to show us. They lose the Korean Peninsula to the Japanese. They're losing Hong Kong. There's different ports. They lose Tibet. They lose Mongolia. And here they go, and, oh man, I wish they would have kept going, because then they collapse into a civil war, the warlord period, then you have the Japanese invasion, complete chaos. It's actually incredible that they were able to come back. Again, that was also by Red Star. There's, There's a country, country that, that only existed, existed for, for eight, eight seconds. seconds. You see, hmm? if one other country recognition is enough to become a country, let's see. Then the shortest lived country don't know this is one. the Republic of Crimea, which oh. existed for just one day from March 17th, 2014. Exactly when eight it seconds. Its independence after an illegal referendum. To March 18th, oh. when Russia annexed Crimea and made How it do we know it was exactly Federation. eight seconds? But this is pretty controversial. So, the shortest oh, lived yeah. country with an actual government and foreign relations was the Russian Democratic Federative Republic, is which this was the so after overthrowing the Tsars in January 18th, 1918. Uh, this is right. But just the Civil six War, hours later, the Civil in the War. same day, 
Vladimir Lenin dissolved the state and formed the Russian SFSR. Wow. But in 2017, the independent state of Catalonia lasted just about eight seconds. The oh, that's the true the answer. And right after that, he asked the parliament to suspend his declaration so he can negotiate with Spain, giving Catalonia only an eight seconds lifespan. Wow, what? I've never heard that before. Thanks for that reality explained. So they did go independent. BuzzFeed claims it was for six seconds though. Incredible. The then Catalonian president declared independence from Spain, but then just a few seconds later, he suspended Catalonia's independence until negotiations finished. Another interesting one to talk about, the People's Republic of Zanzibar last seen 137 days over here. See, like eight seconds, can we really classify that as real? That eight second declaration could have just been a war. And like, we don't consider what the confederate states of america has ever been like an independent state like that was a civil war they were oofed in four years i feel like well i don't know maybe spain would have gone to war i'm not sure what, what color, color is, never in a national is flag? not in a Ray? national flag Almost. i think we know this it's not pink but it also depends on the tone of pink i i mean it's usually not purple either it's either pink or purple depending on how you define it i think it's not common for the fact gray? that it looks like a dirty white man which is you, how it behaves for the image of the country you, but I, there's still a bit of gray on the flags of malta and oh, vatican that's good point how about pink Sure, there, no one uses it as the primary color. It looks pink. too frivolous. But if you look closely, the flag of Spain and has a pink line on it, and Mexico has yep. pink cactus. These are the flag. only two pink. And there's also this kind of pink shell. Oh, like I this forgot too. about that. Maybe purple. Yes, it's too expensive. In the past, they paint was made from natural dyes. And it was the only one I can think of is Republican Spain. They they use a big purple strip at the bottom. Much cheaper to make it red from berries or worn larvae. Blue from crumbs of glass and copper, or black this from is coal. Why there's so That's much why these colors are so popular. Yeah, exactly. But to get one gram of purple, you needed about 10,000 mollusks that only live in the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, wow. So only wealthy kings were able to get this color. But in 19th century, English chemists found a way to so make it is purple. purple. You'll see purple everywhere these days, even on the flag of Dominica and Nicaragua. Oh. So what colors and flags do you like most? So, what is it? Thank you for that globe. There is no color that is not on any flag, but purple is the rarest color. What about piggy pink, though? I don't think that's in any flag. Poland, Poland almost went to war with Japan. And almost so their biggest World mistake. War II, Poland and Japan were like two long distance friends. They, and yes. really, really, really. I literally just covered that. They both had a mutual Soviet enemy. Did each other. Then in World War II, Japan and Germany became allies and started attacking everyone. In the process, yes. Germany also invaded Poland. Now, and the Polish government was in exile exile in Britain and declared war on Japan as it was a German Oh, this is what we're going to talk about. However, Japan still considered Japan literally said no. a friend, so they simply said no to this declaration of war. <laughs> You're not the guy, pal. I mean, it's true. I'm sorry, Poland. At that time, you you were, you were not that guy. Poland, fight me. Japan, no. Understandable. Have a nice day. Thanks for that, map lad. Japan literally considers the Polish a samurai nation. Obviously, they're still both chill to this day. Create your own nation. You have $25. Territory, food, safety, military, H-D-I-G-P... GDP. What? Oh, man, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but okay. So obviously this top tier, you're you're going to spend a lot of your money, clearly. The bottom tier is going to be if you wanted to cheap out on something. I think I'm going to cheap out on safety. Let's just try to do, what, the USA for $3? I mean, that's nice of you. I, there's parts of the USA that are pretty... Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit out of order. Okay, also there's six categories, so we have to keep that in mind. I feel like they've gave us too much money with $25. We could probably cheap out on food. First of all, Turkish food is good to me. I'd like a good HDI or human development index. It's not the most important thing, but okay, three, three, four, that's $10 right there, and we have three more categories left. Oh yeah, bro gave us way too much money. I'm just gonna go fives on everything else. So five food were Russia's size, five USA military, and five USA GDP. It should have been only 20 bucks they gave us. If I was gonna cheap out on one of these though, I probably would have picked territory. I mean, Russia is big, really big, but so much of it is frozen. I think bare minimum, you want probably a four, like China or USA, they're very similarly sized. I could have cheaped out like one there, just one. $19 left for me, corrupt politicians. Yeah, that's, I could have, I didn't even think about that. Very nice UA maps. I like this idea a lot. Please go subscribe to all these channels. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait, regarde dehors. Amateur oh, archaeology. Carmel Connor Pavlik. Henry Inquisitor Zerius, Megan Underwood, John Kansas, Kansas Kiri, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mansion, Girl, Zabby, if you the Mexicans, 760, 